So uh, I will present a few slides about this uh, a project that was funded by the European Commission and to provide uh, to develop this uh, platform. It was called Go for IT. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm not touching too much of the <laughs> computer, but even this. That is just a physical issue. I don't know why. Okay, it was a, a project uh, uh, with European partners, so research and industry, and also uh, uh, other partners in particular, a lot from China. So we, we have even now a few further projects with China on IPv6 and IPv6 testing. Uh, it was based on the formal methodology and we use uh, the worldwide, uh, let's say, standard on test notation called TTC entry. Basically, this project now is delivering two packages. Uh, it's delivering a free tool, so it's like the Japanese approach. You go to the website, you download the tools with the test suite, and you can execute the test, so it's uh, very easy to, uh, to run. But also, it's providing uh, what they call the package two, a free open platform, so you can develop your own uh, a test suite. You can also, for IPv6, and because the architecture is open, you can even develop this uh, uh, test suite for, for any other kind of of, of protocols in adapting few mo few modules, so you can download. Uh, if you go to uh, go for uh, dash it dot eu, uh, you, you see his website. You can download uh, a few um, a few packages, uh, including the uh, the test IPv6 test suite. Uh, some are already mod pre-modules, pre and also we have uh, a test suite for IPv6 core protocol, for mobile IPv6, for IPsec, and few for DHCP v6 and for RIPNG. Uh, and we can, uh, it's a bit of jargon there, but I think in based on the methodology, we have already uh, three uh, open modules uh, for, for instance, uh, developing yourself your own, uh, your own tools. So you have both the possibility to, if you don't want to develop any tools and any uh, new test suite, you can execute the, the IPv6 test suite to help to debug and also to validate the product is conforming uh, to the IPv6 uh, specification. But if you want to develop specific tools, uh, in particular, for instance, uh, uh, specific requirement for India or for specific protocol not implemented today, for instance, the HTTPv6, even with the IPv6 ready logo program, is just starting, or for uh, routing, routing protocols, you can, you can do that. Uh, we recently uh, signed a contract for helping the Chinese to develop further on, uh, on, on this aspect, which is very important, to help the industry to validate to be sure the tools will be uh, will interoperate with other tools and to help the, any manufacturers to implement IPv6 is a kind of, so of support. I'm quite sure that India also uh, will, uh, will face also uh, this kind of, uh, of issues and demand. And in, the, in these particular circumstances, I uh, invite then the people to join, uh, to come to the website, to contact me uh, or to, to uh, use this, uh, the result of this project. Thank you. So now uh, you will hear local, you will hear the real, real, real story of uh, CIFI, who is working with IPv6, and also they are partners in six choice projects, so they will give you the first hand uh, experience what they have. Uh, okay. So uh, we are, uh, I am from CIFI and uh, we are <clears throat> part of uh, the six choice project uh, representing from India. Uh, <clears throat> SIFI is a service provider in India. Uh, we first adopted uh, IPv6 into the network, network core as well as in the uh, service provider edge. I'm, I'm going to talk about some of our experiences, uh, the way we have uh, done it in the network, <clears throat> some of the technologies that we have used, um, and some guidelines uh, too. Okay, uh, from a general perspective, uh, the key drivers that we see from a, uh, if, if it is a service provider, um, service providers with a hosted uh, infrastructure where